Hi, I'm Chapa Major Guy Crew Bob, and we're here today at the beautiful Fort Bliss at the Japanese Gardens located down by Pershing Road. A lot of you have probably been to this garden and not realized that there's something in the very back of this garden that has a really important message. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Our message today is going to be about perspective and how do we gain perspective and what's the importance of perspective as a leader. The people who designed this garden wanted to communicate a message to us about perspective. And so at the back of this garden is a Zen garden with five rocks in the very center surrounded by gravel and a bamboo fence. And if you stand in one spot along that fence and you look at the garden, you can only see a portion of the rocks. For example, where I'm standing right here and you're looking at, you can only see four of the five rocks. But if you move left or right two feet or three feet, suddenly another rock comes into view. And the message behind this is that sometimes if we only stay in one spot and we look at a particular problem or a particular situation, we only see part of the whole picture. In essence, we only see part of the truth. But if we move our perspective, meaning physically moving left or right, one or two feet, suddenly we see more of the picture. And that's important. That means we see more of the truth. And isn't that really our goal in life, is to see the whole truth? So these uh, Zen masters of old were teaching us an important lesson, that if we move our physical position and we look at a problem or an issue from a different perspective, we gain more of the truth. It's kind of like in a football game. You ever watch a football game where a referee makes a call of a, of a catch from a receiver, only to find out that the ball hit the ground beforehand, and the only way we see that is from a different camera angle. So we have to look at things differently. Okay, so how do we gain perspective? Well, the first part is we have to be humble. Uh, sometimes we may think we have the best idea, and somebody else, even somebody younger than us, somebody with less military experience, Somebody who's not even in the military may have an idea that's better than what we have. And so we have to physically move our position and say, you know what, maybe my idea isn't the right idea. You know, communication is all built on trust and leadership is all built on trust. So how do we build trust? Well, sometimes it means taking the time to communicate clearly, but also taking a moment to listen to what other people say, to listen for new ideas, new perspectives, new uh, angles of how to see something so that when we do that we don't just see part of the whole picture we see the whole picture and it takes a humble person sometimes to do that but as a leader if we can be humble if we can take the time to listen to others I think we'll see more than one rock and we'll solve more problems faster better and we'll have a better outcome if we do that I'm Chaplain Guy Krubach Thank you for your time. Dagger, sharpen the edge.